Tuna TV. Bonsoir, everyone. Je m'appelle Christina. Je suis étudiante. I don't know if I did that right. So today's topic will be focusing on how I applied student visa here in France and the processes. It will be very brief because I'm a bit sick. Now I'm getting better. I'm drinking, you know, this with lemon. I'll be focusing on how I did it in France. So if you guys have questions in any other countries, I'm very sorry. I can't really answer your questions. Although I did apply for other countries, but I don't have any experience with their visa process. So you can go and check directly to their website. Okay, so we'll start with number one. Before you start with your decisions and whatsoever in life, save up. If you're planning to be a student, this will be very straightforward. Save up 10 to 14K. It could be SGD, USD, or Euros. Euros much better. That will take you to a lot of decisions you want in life. But if you're like, let's say, for example, a scholar, I know that Germany has one of the best processes when it comes to that because there's a lot of students that are offered scholarship. Well, for me, it doesn't apply because I don't really have that kind of brain, you know? But yeah, I'm just clever in life. Sorry, I'm looking at my, my computer because I've listed down all the details. Number two, look for the course or that you're interested with. In my case, I'm interested with languages because it can take me to places, no? Yeah? Like, for example, if I studied French, which I'm studying French, I could find a job with, let's say, translation, work in any other countries, and I can say, hey, I speak English and I speak French, and I can speak my mother tongue Tagalog, which is, I don't think that will even matter unless I'm in the Philippines. So yeah, unless we have a client in the Philippines. You have to choose your field of study. It could be languages. For me, I chose language because I want to take up master's degree after, after that. Number three, check with the country if their school or university offers that course. So talking about medicine, law, if you're talking about engineering, you have to check which country offers the best, I'd say. Or maybe not the best, but good. And it will depend on you based on your budget, of course. Number four, you have to apply to the university. But before you apply, for me, what I did, there's this so-called pre-enrollment with a university wherein you only pay the deposit. I paid 630 euros for the pre-enrollment deposit. Then I asked a lot of questions before I went paying, okay? I asked about the visa process, do they offer accommodation, what are the things they offer, how's the activities, what are the objectives of my course, and for how long I will be able to learn the language. I, I did ask a lot of questions. I list down, list down, and then I shoot them an email. And the good thing about my school is they are very responsive. It doesn't take them three days to answer two days, one day. It depends. Even if like for sure there's thousands of students there applying and this admin are just like one of the best, okay? They would even call you. And I think it is very important to observe if you have a lot of questions before you have enrolled and it was um, answered for a short period of time and that school is worth it. That means they take care of their clients, they take care of the students. Some schools that I've contacted, it took them like one, two weeks, three weeks before they have replied. And then once you applied already, you will get the protestation, it's like letter of acceptance that, hey, she have already pre-enrolled in our school. Pre-enrolled, that means they're still gonna charge you for the full payment once you arrive, of course. It is only the first phase. You can, you can ask them to send it to you, the hard copy, which they will do. Usually it takes like one to two weeks, but for me, I use the pdf form because they will they can send at any time okay better check your full name the details there because you will be using that letter for the application in the embassy number five check the process of the visa 
check the website. I did ask some questions in my school, like my university, but it would be better if you check directly, read, and then watch YouTube channels that have an experience as a international student in France, like a very detailed process. Basically, you just need to prepare all your documents and you're good to go. Passport, your credentials, or degree. In my case, I have a degree, so that will add up to your application, I would say. But I actually they will not ask about the certificates that much it's focused on your degree your passport your birth certificate number six once you have prepared all the documents for those aspiring students who wants to go to france there are two things that you need to take note of number one the first department which is campus france in singapore they have campus france i don't know in the philippines i don't know in vietnam i don't know in brazil i don't know in anywhere else in the world they might have or they might not have they might have in a neighboring country you have to check for this online all online everything is online process so you have to upload your details there that includes your accommodation your passport your birth certificate your attestation in the school you, the enrollment pre-enrollment form right fill in the details and then once you have uploaded everything that department campus france will review it for like one to two weeks in my case i was like in a hurry because my classes will start very very soon so i call them i call them most of the time they won't pick up because they just don't work at this time or whatsoever nobody wants to pick up the phone but there will be someone who will pick up the phone those are heroes without capes. Once they have reviewed all your documents, they will send you a letter. They will either correct one of those things that you have filled if it's wrong. Like, for example, me, I have to fill up the university name. And I was having trouble with that because there's so many options, but I couldn't find mine. So there's always others. Others will always save your time. So I just put others and then they corrected me and they're like we have to change this blah 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 so i did and then i called them up again okay i changed it already what now what now they will do the interview for me i did an interview over the phone ask me what motivates you to study language and i'm like i just told them the, the truth i told them like career advancement it's always used i want to pursue my studies like master's degree Ugh. we'll see tell them your reasons and then i heard them typing and i was like okay the recording everything i need to remember what i said <laughs> after that they will tell you okay wait one to two weeks and then my colleague will send you an email and that email that they will send you will have the amount that you will be paying i receive it like within a week let's say four days they give me the um, amount i need to pay which is 225 singapore dollars by the way prices will change over time it varies over time okay so Check with them, check online. Don't take this video as like, oh, Christina said this and that. No, you check also. Mm -hmm. Once you have paid, okay, we're still in number one. Remember that. They will send you a confirmation letter that you have fully paid the amount. Because once you have received the amount, that means you're approved, okay? Unless you're rejected, so no. You're approved and then that confirmation letter, you need to print it. And that goes to department number two, the last department, the Embassy of France. That will take you to France, basically. Make sure to bring your passport, the accommodation letter. Mm, by the way, if you have a sponsor, like in my case, my friend, oh, he's a hero. Thank you so much. Sponsor will need to write a letter to the addressing to the embassy, me, Embassy of Singapore. It could be in English or in French, uh, he did both, he translated it both, and he needs to sign at the end. He needs to accompany the letter with two important things. The contract of the house or the apartment, so his name should be there. Thirdly, his or her passport, she or he needs to provide it. Those three things are very important. Proof of funds, you need to provide that. The 10 to 14, that's only the numbers that I'm comfortable of like sharing with you guys that you need to have it's the safest proof of funds is very important because that will affect your approval number four is your credentials your your degree your certificates number five oh my god i almost forgot the most important thing the attestation the letter from your school that is very very important that will show the that you got admitted already to the school 
you guys will need to also provide the OFI form together with the documents you will be giving to the Embassy of France. It's downloadable online. Fill up the upper part of the OFI. OFI basically means Office for Immigration and Integration. The lower part will be filled by the Embassy of France. They will just stamp it and then give it to them together with all the documents so that you'll have the stamp. They will return it to you together with the passport. So those are the very important things. If I forget anything, I hope not. Yeah, the dates, the dates when you want to go there. You should always plan to go there one to two weeks before your class starts because you need to settle down. You need to familiarize the new country you'll be in. So now let's move on to number eight. Eight? I'm not sure what number I am right now. Let's just say I'm in number eight. Okay, once you arrive, make sure you go to your university if it's open. Of course, Sundays, no, your university won't be open, trust me. You go to your university on weekdays, basically. Ask them about the completion of your visa process because it doesn't end there once you're in france already to give them same documents i gave to the embassy just copies you don't need to provide any original copies they will give you instruction they will ask you to pay for the full enrollment they will send those documents with the ofi form the school will need the OFI form that you have filled out back when you were applying in the Embassy of France, like let's say in Singapore. They will send it to the OFI office in my school. They process everything and send it to the OFI office after maybe one to three weeks. Not very sure how long because until now, two weeks from the from the day I completed everything, I still haven't received my OFI appointment. That appointment is very important because Within three months of your stay arrival here in France, you need to complete that. You need to have an appointment with them. You just need to go there. They will give you a special sticker in your passport. It costs for 60 euros. This might change again. You can just go in and out depending on your visa. For me, I have visa D, which is multi-entry. I can go in and out of the country whenever I want and anywhere in Schengen amazing so once you've done that you're good to go you can live your life to the fullest already so basically that's it if you have any questions maybe you can just write down below and i'll try to answer everything as much as i can but please in any other country as much as i want to help you guys i can't i did my research online with the youtubers help also by reading the blogs, the websites that other travelers or students did. For France, I would say it's very straightforward. They have a very organized website. That's why I, I chose to, to apply here instead because it's easier. Everything is understandable. As long as there's a translation in English, I think you're good. I will be doing more vlogs with my travels here in France, within France or outside France. But currently right now, aside from I'm being sick, I'm also looking for a part-time job. Actually, you can find a part-time job. It's just that in my case, my schedule is like from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. I can't conflict with, with my schedule because I will need a contract before they can change my schedule. But most of the part-time shops doesn't really do that. If you find one employer, then good for you. Thank you very much, guys, for being with me all throughout. I will post more videos, helpful videos and tips that I can give based on my travels, based on my experiences in life. I will update you. I hope everyone will have a good day or good night there. I don't know what time it, it is. Tomorrow, I still have a class, so an exam basically so i need to wrap it up bye guys uh au revoir here in france from france peace out